This clearly one of the Heat's best nights of the season offensively. Yeah. How come? Yeah, I just think the, the passing has been outstanding. The spacing, Jimmy Butler, uh, his ability to score is really making the game easy for everyone else. And frankly, I think Dallas is lackluster uh, on the defensive end, too. And that's allowed Miami to get comfortable here. That's a poor foul uh, there by Kayla Martin. You don't want to stop the clock. This keeps the Mavericks very much alive here. Let it go if you have to. This could have been a four-point play, and, uh, you know, if anything, you challenge here, and that's what Coach Bolster is doing, hanging on to that. You don't want to have this you know, turn into a, a three-point game. Uh, maybe the Heat get lucky here and, and take it away, but he is really upset right there with that call. If it stands, it'll be Kayla Martin's fifth half. 11.7 seconds to play. Oh, that's... That really looked pretty clean. Let's take another look at this if we can. Does he hit the top of the head? It looked Does like he pulled like a hand it. away there. Looked like he pulled it away very clean. Yeah, let's see who rebounds the ball here. Really important to determine who. Yeah, really see, nice job by Caleb. Kind of tucked his hand, pulled it back, right? He? I think the Heat are in good shape on this. Let's see who got the ball here on the shot, though. That's going to be an eminent possession. It'll be there, and Cody Zeller falls right in his lap like a pot of gold. By the way, the Heat this year, Eric Spolster 12 and 4 in his challenge situation. I like number 13 coming up right here. This is why you hang on to your challenge. Yes. For plays like this. I mean, this is a potential game changer. If, if the Mavericks were able to shoot, make three free throws, all of a sudden the Heat are only up by three. It looks like the challenge is, is for the most part, going to work out. We have a jump ball at center circle. Any two that were in the game at the time of the shot. That was a crew chief, Sean Wright, in his 18th year as an NBA referee. Uh, so it's not heat possession, but at least it's not a foul that would have given Doncic three free throws.